How's it doing everybody? My name is Chase and welcome back to Project Today. Today's video is part two of a massive road trip through the entire country of Mexico from Laredo, Texas all the way down to Bacalar, Quintana Roo, Mexico. If you haven't seen part one, I highly suggest you go click on that. There'll be a link to it right there. But the gist of it is right now I'm smack dab in the middle of Mexico. I have two more days of driving before I get to Bacalar and these two days are going to be super, super exciting. Today I'm going to be driving through some of the biggest cities in Mexico, including Puebla, and then going through Coatzacoalcos, getting close to that Mexican coast in the Gulf of Mexico, before getting to my final destination today of Villa Hermosa. And yes, I am super, super excited. Let's get through this road trip, man. I can't wait to be in Bacalar. It's up there. <laughs> We're driving through Puebla, Mexico right now. Puebla has a ton of history, a ton of culture, and I am just driving straight through it. It's another place that I would love to come back to one day, and I really hope that later on in my travels through Mexico, I'm able to return to Puebla and see more of what the city has to offer. But yeah, I'm about an hour into the drive today, and it's been going pretty well. I hope it carries on like this. Let's try to make some good time towards Villa Hermosa. Oh my god, I'm in the middle of a fire! Holy cow! Ah! This is... What in the world? Oh my god! It started to smell like smoke, but I just figured it was someone's brakes or something. That was a fire! That was like a real wildfire on the side of the road. What the heck? I can't believe that! That was freaky! Oh my goodness! All right, everyone, I've got an update for you. It's not necessarily a good update, I hate to say it, but I've got an update. Let's jump in the back. Okay, so I just filled up on gas, and this is, I think, the fourth time that I've filled up on gas on this trip in Mexico, so far just in Mexico. And each time that I've filled up on gas before this, they have accepted credit card. So I didn't need to have any pesos on hand. I've just been able to use my credit card at every single gas station in Mexico up until this one. And unfortunately, when I got to this gas station and they didn't accept my credit card, I had to pay in pesos and I realized that I was using all of my remaining pesos and I barely even got to fill up any of my gas. And this is a massive problem because when I was done getting about a quarter tank of gas back, just enough gas to keep going, I realized that I didn't have enough for when I got to the next toll booth. And of course, here in Mexico, there are tons of toll booths. So I'm currently sitting at a toll booth without any money. I just have a small stack of change in the driver's side door, and that's not enough. I'm gonna be honest, for the first time in the trip, I'm kind of anxious 
I don't know what I'm going to do here. I think I'm just gonna go try and talk to someone and see what the options are. Yeah, oh uh, man, everything was going so well on this road trip and then this is just, uh, this is purely a mistake on my, my part. I, I should have had more pesos on hand. I didn't. Oh, I really can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. I've been talking to a security guard for the last 10 minutes or so. He's super helpful, super nice, and he's basically guaranteeing that the truck is going to be totally fine, and I believe him. He's been super helpful so far, so I'm kind of putting the truck in his hands. Yeah, again, this is totally my fault. I definitely should have had more pesos on hand. You live and you learn. This is definitely a learning experience. Leaving the truck there is just about my worst case scenario right now, but I think it's all I can do. All right, we are good. I've got my money. Just came back with my guy, Antonio, I think. This guy is the beast. He literally got me to this, um, to the ATM in like 10 minutes. All right, for those of you who can translate that, you might you might have seen what's gonna happen there. <laughs> All right, we're good. We are good. <laughs> Gracias, Antonio. Que tenga un buen día. We made it. We made it. All right, I'm back. I have pesos now, and as you can see, the truck is still here. <laughs> and here's the thing, despite all of what just happened, I would consider this like a positive experience. And stick with me, I know you're thinking that I'm insane. And obviously I, I do wish in retrospect that none of this had happened, but at the end of the day, I just had to take a taxi ride into a random town in Mexico. And if it weren't for this whole problem, if it weren't for this whole fiasco, I would never ever have found myself in Cosa Maloapan, Mexico, and I never would have met Antonio, who's a really cool taxi driver. I wouldn't have been able to talk to the police officer that I was talking to. And overall, I got to meet a couple cool people, see a part of Mexico that I otherwise never would have seen. All in all, this entire situation could have ended up going in a much worse direction, and it didn't. And honestly, I'm kind of grateful for what just happened. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but it's how I feel. And now let's get back on the road, shall we? Shall we continue this road trip? Shall we? <laughs> let's do it. Buenos dias. Muchas gracias. This is my cambio. Señor, muchas gracias. Que tenga un buen día. We're through! We are through the longest toll booth stop in the history of toll booth stops. Now I just need now I just need to stop and fill up on gas again. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, we are at our parking spot for the night, and I'm just going to be honest, this parking spot is hot, humid, buddy, smelly, full of trash, and very loud. <laughs> but the good thing about it is that it is free and it is safe, and honestly, I'll take those two things any day of the week, so despite all the other things, this is a great parking spot because again, free and safe. What more do you want? <laughs> but man, what? a day today was. Easily the most scared that I've been on this road trip so far. And yet despite the fact that it was such a long day and a couple problems that I had today, 
it was a good day. And like I said earlier, that toll booth fiesta was actually like a pretty cool experience that I'm almost grateful happened. It's definitely a lesson that I can use to learn from in the future. So hopefully I don't make the same mistake again. And yeah, overall, today was a good day. Here's something that's gonna blow your mind because it is blowing my mind right now. Tomorrow is the last day of road tripping. I'm going to be in Bacalar Quintana Roo tomorrow night. So that is insane. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow's drive just because of the fact that it's going to be the last drive for a little bit. And now it's time to get this truck ready for bed and hopefully get a good night's sleep. Like I said earlier, it's hot and humid. So it's time to start getting used to sleeping in that hot and humid environment because the rest of the trip and the rest of my time in Mexico is going to be hot and humid. So I'll let you know how that is in the morning. But yeah, today was a good day. Hopefully tomorrow's a good day as well. I'll see you all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. One thing I'm definitely learning on this road trip is that I really need a haircut. The truck honestly wasn't terrible last night. It wasn't unbearable. It was hot. I'm gonna guess that the temperature in the truck was somewhere between 75 and 80 degrees, so, you know, definitely not chilly, but honestly, it wasn't too bad. I, I slept through the night super well, and that's a great sign, because moving forward, I think the van is only going to get warmer. But it's a good thing I did get that night of sleep, because today is a big, big day. We've got one massive drive left before arriving at the final destination of Bacalar, Quintana Roo, Mexico. Map says that I've got nine hours before I arrive in Bacalar. That's going to be a long drive. That doesn't include stopping for eating food, stopping at toll booths, any traffic I might find along the way. Yeah, this is going to be a big day. Let's jump right into it. <sighs> This is a very cheap van life shower system, sticking your head under the water tank. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> this works. I did not see that the truck was basically backed up to this incredible jungle. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now there is like trash, you know, lots and lots of trash, which is definitely a problem throughout Mexico. But I didn't see the nature that was out here behind me. Everything, everywhere is going to be just as beautiful, if not more beautiful than this moving forward. That's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. This is literally just a freaking truck stop and it's this beautiful in the background. So <laughs> that's really cool. And now, let's get on the road <laughs> and get this AC on. Woo! Quarenta y cuatro. Muchas gracias. This might be my last gas fill up of the trip. Woo. <laughs> it's exciting. It's exciting stuff. It really is. Bienvenidos al mundo maya. That's pretty cool. Realize I should probably translate that. In English, that means welcome to the world of the Mayans or welcome to the Mayan world. Because we are now in an area where Mayan ruins are located all over the place. There are signs for them to turn into these Mayan ruins everywhere, which is so cool. <laughs> Now it's just a really short drive, and then we're gonna be in Bacalar, and I'm gonna be done. Done driving, 
I'll be able to just rest and not drive for oh, as long as I want. <laughs> I cannot wait. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. We made it! <laughs> we made it! We are in Bacalar! I am so freaking excited! Let's go! <laughs> I am pumped! We're finally here! Woohoo! We are finally in Bacalar. I think you can see that I'm excited, <laughs> that I'm happy to be here. Happy to be done with the road trip. This is 3,000 miles and about nine full days of driving later. I'm finally in this part of Mexico that I've been thinking about and honestly dreaming about for more than a month now. Oh man, it, it feels so good. It feels so good to be able to sit down right now and say like, we're done. Done driving for at least a little bit. And it's almost like this is the end of a chapter where really the last chapter was road tripping around California with Dylan, this road trip down here to Mexico. But now it's the start of a brand new one, which is solo van life in Mexico. I, I still can't really believe that that's what I'm doing, and I still can't really believe that that's where I'm at, but it is, and I'm super excited for Mexico van life to start immersing myself in the culture down here in Mexico, trying new things, doing insane, crazy things that I never would have imagined myself ever doing in the past, and I'm excited to share that all with you. So if you are all as excited as I am, make sure that you drop a like on this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can watch that Mexico van life going forward. Comment down below your thoughts on the road trip, what I need to do in Mexico. If anybody has recommendations, by the way, on places that I should go um, throughout Mexico, then please, I'd love to see those in the comment section down below. But yeah, honestly, make sure you're subscribed because I'm super excited to make more videos and to start living the van life down here in Mexico. It's starting, well, it's starting tomorrow. I'm going to get some good sleep tonight, but then I'm going to start filming the very next video tomorrow. And that video is going to be out on Wednesday, so I will see you all then. God, I can't wait. This is going to be really, really fun.